Hi everyone, Mr. Erdreich here, and in this video, I'm gonna share the 10 things I love and hate about the Prusa Mini 3D printer. So to start things out, let's just clarify that hate is a pretty strong word. Overall, I love this printer and it is my preferred 3D printer for under $500 as I described in my product review. But that being said, no printer is perfect. And there are some things that I absolutely love about this printer and some things that I could do without. So let's start with the love, price. For under $500, this is an incredible performing machine with a really surprisingly large build volume and excellent print quality. So for $429 or $559, depending on whether you wanna build it yourself at the time of making this video, this is an absolutely fantastic printer and it outperforms many things for anywhere near this price bracket. Something I don't love about the printer is the filament carriage, the thing that the spool sits on. This is such a lovely small package and yet this has to sit off to the side for your spool and it takes up so much countertop space. I feel like there easily could have been some type of arm right here to hold the spool to allow it to feed and there are tons of modifications online where you can add something like that yourself. Next thing that I love, the graphic display. The graphics on this thing are beautiful. The screen is absolutely stunning and for any printer around this price point, there's not much competition. It really gives you such a high-end feel and such a low-end price bracket. Next thing that I don't love, it's surprisingly loud. Now, to clarify, this is not a loud 3D printer. The loudest 3D printer I've ever worked with was the old MakerBot replicator that had a plastic frame and basically resonated the sound. This isn't that loud. But for it being such a small printer with an open chassis and a lot of belt-driven axes, it's surprisingly loud. Loud enough that if I had it running right now, you wouldn't be able to hear me really well. Loud enough that the sound resonates through my entire house. And compared to my Lulzbot Tad Sidekick, which is bigger but has a similar open frame and belt-driven axes, it's significantly louder. Next thing that I love is the support. So Prusa does an amazing job at documenting everything with their open source hardware. So if you browse the Prusa website, you can find every guide, every tutorial to rebuild and disassemble and tune every aspect of this printer. And then there's even more support all over the maker community, all over YouTube, like me. Next thing that I don't like, is the user interface. While the screen is absolutely stunning, I find that this dial is really difficult to use. It jumps around a lot, it skips, and then when you try to do things like move the head or move the bed, it just jumps up and down because you can only move things one millimeter at a time. I wish that they let you set the increment that you wanted to move by or let you set the sensitivity level of the actual dial itself. Next thing that I love is the print bed. Not only do I love the size, but the PEI film works great. It's so easy to remove your parts. If you did want to put down some glue for specialty filament, it's easy to clean it off and it's reversible. And installing and aligning it back on the printer is fabulous. Next thing that I don't like is the filament idler. So that's the thing that actually sets the tension on the filament and it's completely hidden. I mean, if you reach down below the extruder, you can kind of feel it, but I always feel like I'm adjusting the tension blind. It would be so much easier if you could see it or feel it rather than just constantly adjusting it blind. Next thing that I love is the size. While it's called the mini, it is not a mini printer. I mean, it's a small package and compared to other printers that have roughly the same volume, like my Taz Sidekick, it's so much smaller in terms of footprint and yet the build volume is pretty close. And that means that this is such an easy printer to have in your makerspace or workshop of any size. And lastly, my least favorite thing about the Prusa Mini and the only thing that really drives me nuts out of this entire list, the extruder. It's a Bowden style extruder like all Prusa. So that means that your extruder motor is over here and the filament is fed through a Bowden tube. And the benefits is you have this nice lightweight print head, which is fast. And in reality, this type of gantry arm would have never been possible with anything else. But if it becomes misaligned, if your tension is a little off, if your Z height's a little off, I find that it grinds the filament so quickly. And then to unjam it and unclog it, you have to take the whole thing apart and rebuild the entire thing. And it's just a little tedious and it makes miscalibrations absolutely catastrophic and just takes forever to dial in your printer if something's a little off, which is difficult for a lot of new users. But again, to summarize, this is an awesome printer and definitely one that I would recommend if you're shopping in this price bracket or even if you're shopping a little above because this gives you huge performance for such a low price and such a small package. Thanks for watching. Please check out my channel for more guides on 3D printers and other types of CAD software, videos, tutorials, etc. And stay tuned for future hands-on projects.